Good day traders, this is Roger Scott from Market Geeks and today I have a new video tutorial for you. Before I begin I'd like to remind you to visit MarketGeeks.com and download your free swing trading report. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for free swing trading videos and trading tips. Today I'm going to discuss one of the most popular indicators for short term trading strategies. The relative strength index is a momentum oscillator that measures the speed and change of price movement. The RSI indicator was invented by J. Wells Wilder and featured in his 1978 book New Concepts in Technical Trading Systems along with a few other indicators that I will feature in the next few weeks. Suffice to say this indicator has withstood the test of time. The RSI oscillates between 0 and 100. Traditionally the RSI is considered overbought when above 70 and oversold when below 30. I will spare explaining the formula to calculate the RSI indicator because the indicator is available on every charting software online and offline so there's no reason to manually calculate anything. The only thing that needs to be adjusted is the time period. Wilder traditionally used 14 days to calculate the RSI oscillator why I prefer to use a shorter time period. I find that the 10 day or 10 bars if you're day trading works very well for short term market swings. So the only thing you need to do is to change the time period or the day period and you're all set. There are many indicators traders use to trade short term trading strategies. Most indicators are divided into two areas. One area is lagging indicators. These are indicators that confirm and follow price action. A moving average tracks and follows the price trend. It provides information to traders after the fact. Lagging indicators are commonly called trend following because they are designed to get traders in and keep them in as long as the trend is intact. As such, these indicators are not effective in trading or sideways markets. Another disadvantage to lagging indicators is they are lagging and provide direction after the fact. They may cause you to get into a trend much later and after the initial signal was already generated. However, for trend following, they are considered the best indicators for short term trading strategies. Leading indicators, on the other hand, are designed to lead price movement. In other words, the leading indicator will give a signal before the trend or a reversal has actually occurred. There are some benefits that the leading indicator provides as well. Early signaling for entry and exit is the main upside to using the leading indicators. Leading indicators work best in choppy or trending markets. If using a trending market, it's advised to only use these indicators in the direction of the major trend. If the market is trending higher, I would only take trades using the RSI indicator and if the market is trending downwards, I would only recommend taking trades that are going short. The best use for the oscillator, such as the RSI indicator, is to measure short-term overbought and oversold levels in choppy markets. This is where this indicator thrives. One of the best ways to use the RSI indicator is to measure for divergence between stocks or other financial markets analyzed and the indicator itself. A bullish divergence occurs when the underlying market makes a lower low and the RSI forms a higher low. RSI does not confirm the lower low and this shows strengthening momentum. A bearish divergence forms when the stock or other market makes a higher high and the RSI forms a lower high. RSI does not confirm the new high and this shows weakening momentum. You can get a pretty good idea by looking at these examples how the RSI indicator generates trend reversal signals. The most important thing to remember about using oscillators such as the RSI indicator is the fact that they only work well in range bound or choppy markets. Markets that are trending typically respond much better to trend following indicators such as moving averages. Conversely, I don't recommend using a moving average in a choppy market. It's the quickest road to disaster. Make sure to check the general slope or direction of the trend before applying these indicators. The RSI indicator is one of the most popular indicators traders use for short term trading strategies. 
I will be doing several more tutorials in the next few weeks demonstrating how to build a short-term trading system using the RSI indicator. That's it for today's video tutorial. Thanks for joining us. Please visit MarketGeeks.com for your free swing trading report. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for daily short-term trading videos and trading tips. This is Roger Scott wishing you the best in your trading.